snowing in Atlanta. I mean, I know, like, you can't really tell. Let me, okay, let me show you. Hold on. Maybe you can see it more from my balcony. I mean, I know it don't look dramatic, but y'all, it's like really snowing. So I'm like excited. Are you excited about the snow, Miss Mamas? Hello, 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 I'm talking to you. Blossom. You are such a bitch. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. I just got to work. And so I bought a bunch of stuff from Target and Etsy because the office where us girls, it's four of us, like in sales, the office that we sit in, it's like boring and it's not lively. So I came to work like super early today because I'm going to decorate the office just a little bit um, to like, I don't know. It's just boring, just to make everybody smile. I really like my coworkers. Um, so I came here early, so I'm gonna show y'all that. So yeah, I'm about to go into work. I get so many compliments on this fragrance. This is Sue Phillips. It's called Floral Blend. Y'all know, y'all know that I love to get like these little perfumes from Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service for perfume where you can choose from over like 600 brands. And they do have like smaller known brands, but they also have like Gucci and Burberry and Versace. So like, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a perfume and you want to test one out before you get it, Scentbird is really good for that. So the fragrances that I got this month are the Floral Blend by Sue Phillips. I got Bright Crystal by Versace. And I got Pure Sugar by a brand called Juice. Y'all know that I like to smell like really just like fresh. Like I don't, I don't need too much out of a perfume. I just want to smell like I just, I just want to smell like fresh. Like I just hopped out of the shower. Versace Bright Crystal smells like pomegranate. Like I like to use that one if i need something long like if i'm going to the club and i need something a little bit stronger that's gonna last a while i'll use the versace bright crystal the last one that i bought pure sugar by juice that one is a little juvenile i ain't gonna i'm not gonna lie um but it's a good room freshener like i'll spray it like in a room if i really need a room to smell good so the monthly subscription for scentbird only costs 16 dollars but if you need to pause and take breaks for whatever reason, you can. There's no penalties for that. You can say like, I don't want fragrances for the next couple months. And then you can pick right back up where you left off. If you use my code, you get your first month for $11. Cheaper than Netflix. Because Netflix been tripping with their prices. And Scentbird is now available in Canada too. So y'all don't have to miss out. And just to be clear, these fragrances aren't the size of like the little tiny vials that you get as like samples. No, these are 30 day supplies. So if you're getting two, three a month, you're literally getting three months supply worth of perfume for $16. Some of these perfumes that I get from Scentbird are actually like $400 perfumes that I would like to test out in a smaller bottle before I commit to that because I have a really bad habit of like, spending all this money on perfume but then like barely ever using it and not because like I want to save the perfume but because like I just barely end up I, like I'll think I like it and then after a few wears I'm like oh no this isn't for me and then it's too late to return it at that point so yeah thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and let's go decorate my office okay so I got everybody their own little plant. Everybody has a different one. I got all these from Target. I got everybody like their own little plant to go in their area. All right. I also got everybody one of these. It's like a body vase. I feel like it'll be really cute because we work in a plastic surgery office. So everybody has a different one. Okay, that's that. And I ordered these custom from Etsy. I'm gonna show you guys. So like, 
I gave all of us like little nicknames. All right. So like, this is my nameplate, and it says Ayana, the response, the best response queen, which just basically means like, whenever there's like an angry like customer or patient, I have the best responses. Everybody in the office always comes to me and be like, "What should I say?" Um, and then like for instance, like my coworker. Madison, we call her the chin queen because one thing about it, she gonna book a double chin. She like, I don't know what it is about the chins. They all gravitate to her. She, she will book a chin. If there's a patient who wants a chin, we'll give it to Madison because she is going to book it. So like I got all of my coworkers, like their own little name plates with their pictures on it. And then I just got these from Target for paperwork because like we have papers all over this desk. I want I will, I'm gonna show, just show you the the after. I don't want to show you the before only because like it has so many identifying things on here yet. I'm just not 100% sure that I'm really ready to like tell everybody where I work. Um, but I am gonna show you guys the final result. Okay, so here is Jennifer's area. Here is my area. Here is Madison's area. And then here's Rachel's area. Rachel's little body thing won't be here until today. So I'm going to put it up tomorrow. Anybody out there? Oh my gosh! Look at how cute! Is Do you so like nice? it? Oh. Well, that's the one you chose, so that's the one I use. <laughs> oh my it's a cute picture. It's funny though. Yay, it's the donkey sign queen. Yes. Madison, says Madison is the chin queen. Oh my God. Rachel is the Skrilla queen. Where did you um? And I'm from? Etsy. I got them off of Etsy. Oh, and there's like a little. I didn't think you would actually do it. This is so cute. Now I don't have to have like. It looks like crap when people walk by. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cute in here. Oh my god. Thank you guys. So me and my coworker Madison are about to go to Linux to go shopping. Um, but I don't think Madison knows that you can literally get shot at Linux. So she's not from here. She's from um I think she's from Arizona. Yeah, so you can get shot at Linux. But I mean if it's a gamble she's really willing to take for a couple of cute blouses, then we out, we out. I just feel like when I pull up at the mall, the first thing I see should not be a cop with his lights on. Oh, I hate Linux. I'd much rather go to Perimeter Mall, but traffic to get to Perimeter at 5 p.m. is insane. I'm so tired, it does not make any sense. But I'm gonna show y'all what I got from the mall. And then I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit why, about why hair sponsorships suck. And I know y'all been waiting for me to talk about that, but let me show y'all what I got at the mall first. Oh, I didn't get shot at Linux, so that's a good day. So I got these from Steve Madden. They were $30 because they were like $100 and then it was 50% off. Then it was an extra 30% off of the 50%. Um, so they ended up being like $30 and they're really cute. They're a knockoff Alexander Wangs, but these are for work. So I feel like I'm not going to wear my good shit to work. So this is, these are, these are really cute. And I actually was eyeing these full price. So the fact that they went on sale is great. I'll probably wear these to work tomorrow. At Edge, I got 
So I don't know where me and Amy are going for vacation yet for Valentine's Day, but we going somewhere. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Yeah, it's like just like this cute like little baby blue halter top, slinky top that you can just tie up. That'll be cute. It's going to be a cute by the water picture. And then I got, I don't know why I got this top. I don't need this at all, but I feel like it's cute. It goes this way. And then my boobs go here and you tie it. And then the back is out. So I don't even know how this go, but I thought that the print was cute and it's going to be cute for vacation. I probably wear it with like some wide leg pants or something to like walk around whatever resort we're at. Yeah, so it's supposed to go like this. You get the picture? Yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to go like that. And then from Zara. Okay, so they had this little um like bralette but then they had like a matching cardigan with the bralette i don't know where i'm gonna wear this but i thought that the cardigan with the matching bralette was really cute all right so this top i actually thought this might be cute for work um it depends on if i have side boob or not but oh my bad i mean so I was about to say, it's kind of hoish because the back is out, but they want us to be um, professional at work. So professional, but still kind of ho because it's a plastic surgery office. So, and then I have a sheer high neck lime green top, which I have no idea where I'm wearing this to, but I thought it was really cute. I actually could wear this even when it's hot outside because it's really like this material is like paper thin. Like, I don't know if you can see that you can see my hand straight through this, but I can probably wear this in any weather. It's really cute. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like why I actually stopped for the time being doing hair sponsorships and like um, the things that people go through as YouTubers when it comes to hair sponsorships because hair sponsorships honestly are in like a different bracket than like other sponsorships. So first of all, when you reach a certain amount of subscribers, you're automatically going to start getting like hair crazy amounts of like hair sponsorships. Like literally I probably at this point get like 50 emails a day from different people at different hair companies. So it may not be 50 different hair companies, but it might be like six to eight different employees hit me up about the same brand. And you're allowed to like work with each of them. Um, everybody of course gets their own separate video, but first of all, it's overwhelming now. I just don't feel like going through all of these hair sponsorships anymore, but that's number one. Number one, it's, it's overwhelming. Um, but number two, most of these wig companies are very cheap when it comes to paying influencers. So if I say that my rate is, let's just say I told them my rate was $500. My rate is not $500. I'm just using that as an ex a reference. If I hit up a hair company and said, my rate is $500 for a four minute tutorial in a vlog. They'll say, mm, no, we want to pay you $20 and we'll send you the free wig, but we want a dedicated video. Like, it's like that with every last person that I speak with when it comes to hair companies. Like, I'll send over my rate and they'll try to cut my rate in less than half and say, we're a small company. We know you work with big companies, so give us a discount because we're a small company. No. One, you're not a small company. That's a lie. And two, no, this is my rate. So imagine like getting about 40 to 50 emails a day from hair companies. You send everybody the same media kit. And now you have to respond to 50 different people trying to tell you that 
your rate for 500 is too high, even though you're definitely going to bring them way more than $500 in revenue and they want to pay $20 in a free wig. So then you have to go back to all 50 people because it's very rare that somebody just says, okay, I accept your rate. Um, as far as hair companies go, you have to go back and these people write you back. They give you the bullshit offer. And then you have to write all of those people back again and say, no, this is my rate. And then that just goes back and forth for a while until I decide who I'm just not going to write back anymore at all because they're not taking the hint that I'm saying that I'm not going to do a discount. Um, or somebody finally says, yes, I'll pay your rate, but then they ask for more. They'll say, oh, your rate's $500? That's great. So do this dedicated video, but then we also want five HD pics sent to us, and then we want three Instagram pictures and two um, reels. No, that's a different rate. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I, it's, it's incredibly frustrating, um, and it's time-consuming. Luckily for me, I had some hair companies and people with I had some people within hair companies that I worked with several times. So like hair companies that you see me doing multiple times, it's because I was working with like the same representative for that company over and over again. So they knew what to expect. They knew they weren't getting anything extra from me. They knew what my rate was and they knew that my rate could change at any minute because my channel was growing so fast. So if I told you that my rate was 500 when I had... 2,000 subscribers, but now I have 20,000 subscribers, you have to understand that my rate just went up. But a lot of people don't understand that. They'll hit me up, they'll work with me, and then they'll hit me up three months later when my subscriber count has jumped 30,000 more subscribers and then be like, hey, can I still book you for that rate that you gave me three months ago? No, you can't because that's not my rate anymore. One thing that you have to always make very clear if you're going to work with a hair company is exactly what you're giving them for the rate. Because I've had a couple times happen, and it's only been a couple times. If I've done like 40, 50 hair videos, it's probably happened two, three times where I send a video and they're like, we, this is not what we wanted. Um, so can you please re-record the whole video? And at that, at, like at the time, like I would have done my hair already. So now I have to do the process of recording the video again if I want to get paid. I today wouldn't do that because I'm very clear with what you're getting. If you don't like the video, but this is what you pay for, I will simply refund you and send you your wig back. Like I'm not going through the whole putting a wig on my head all over again and then rediscussing what I've already discussed. I'll sometimes run into hair brands who, when I tell them I'm very firm on my rate, they're like, oh, well, because you're, you won't negotiate your rate down to $5, you're never going to get any sponsorships. And I'm just like, you literally are on my page because you see that I have all these hair sponsorships. So what are you talking about? Clearly, everybody is paying my rate. So I, I know that people, so I know a lot of people were like, you know, why are you stop? Why are you no longer doing hair sponsorships? And to be honest, that is most of the reason because it's actually very, very, very tiring working with hair companies. They want too much. They want to pay you 50 cents for giving them a thousand pieces of content. And it's honestly, it's honestly just mentally exhausting. Like I'm not saying I'll never do it again. I'm just saying like I need a mental break from it because there's just so much back and forth. And I feel like there's so much disrespect and not like respecting people's time, people's rates. Like it, it's just, it's, it's frustrating. And I don't run into these same problems with non-hair brand sponsorships. Um, so just for my mental, I'm going to not do hair sponsorships right now. I've literally been emailing people every day saying I'm not taking hair sponsorships right now because they literally keep emailing me back to back. Like, because they can see when you've read the email, they send you the type of email where they can like see that you've opened it. And then when they see that I open it and I don't write them back, they immediately write me back and be like, hello, did you get my email? Hello, dear. Did you get my email, dear? So, yeah, that's it. Nothing crazy. Nothing super emotional. It's just they're just really, really cheap and overwhelming. And I'm starting to get way too many. And I, I, I can't keep up with the demand anymore. I, I literally have 
50 wigs sitting in my beauty space and I'll have five days to do them. I'm actually not even exaggerating. I will have a box all the way up to the top and I've told these brands that I will be done at a certain point and then I do so many and then I look and I feel like the wigs just haven't moved. So I, 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 I literally was like, no, I have to get to a point where I can catch up with all of these videos and then when I catch up, I'm not doing them no more. So that's just where I'm at with it now. Also, my hair was breaking off because I kept manipulating it every single day or manipulating it multiple times a day when I've had to film multiple videos a day. Um, and I just wanted, I just really wanted to sew in for a little bit because I'm just tired of doing my hair so much that I needed a hairstyle that I really kind of just don't have to maintain. I can put a bonnet on my head, wake up the next day and I'm fine. I feel like I didn't cover everything in this little rant that I wanted to. I'm pretty sure I'll think of something else, but if y'all have any questions about this, just leave it in the comment section and I'll answer anything I can about like hair sponsorships. Um, we can talk about other type of brand sponsorships later on, but if you specifically have questions about hair sponsorships, let me know in the comments and I will answer it. Thank y'all for tuning into today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Yay! Yeah.